Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. That's it. You're already getting your arms moving, which is great. Okay, so we're just going to start just initially with one foot on one of the balls, standing nice and tall, but just rolling the ball in time with the music, whatever feels right for you. Lovely, good. Slightly dropping the knee in towards the centre line, working on the inside of the foot, and turning it out. Lovely. Three, two, one. We're going to slow it down, put it into the middle of the foot, and then we're going to transfer three times. One, two, three. Let's roll it out. Just work with what pressure suits you. And then changing over. So we change over to the other foot. Let's go. Hopefully you're all feeling really well. As you say, if you want to get your arms involved as well, it's absolutely fine. Lovely, good, okay, three, two, one, slow the ball down, transferring the weight into the middle of the foot, one, two, three, fantastic, let's roll it out, 30 seconds more, brilliant. Okay, what I did mention in the uh, email was that we're going to be using the wall as well. So if you could pick the ball up, I understand you might not, I might not be able to see you now, but we're going to go against the wall, just drop the ball between the shoulder blades. And then we're just going to rock up and down, so we're now warming up our legs and our joints, just gently at the top of our shoulders. Totally understand if you haven't got this, then please just maybe do small squats. Small squats are just down, coming up, down, and up. If you haven't got the ball behind. Okay, let's drop the ball in between the middle of our shoulders now. So we're just going to make a nice circle going round one way. And let's back, go back the other. Lovely, well done everyone, good. Drop the ball down to the lower back now. Just rolling it around again. Maybe these circles can be a little bit bigger. Really warming up our knees and our ankles. Lovely, good, keeping our core nice and engaged. Let's go back around the other way. Hopefully you feel a little bit warmer now. Your heart rate's slightly elevated. With much more weight. Good, three, two, one and take the ball out let's just pop that to the floor we're just going to do a couple of squats just where you feel comfortable lovely shake the arms and legs out well done everyone good give yourself a round of applause we got through the warm-up fantastic okay we're going to do a roll down, but this time we're going to, it doesn't matter which leg, I'm going to say our left leg will come across our right leg. Deep breath in. We're going to drop the chin to the chest, unlock the knees, unlock the hips, and just gently roll down to where you feel comfortable. You may be able to get your fingers straight to the floor first time. If you can't, don't worry, don't force anything. Nice deep breath in. We're just gently going to roll back up as we blow out. Coming all the way up. Roll the shoulders all the way up and blow out as we come back down. Good, let's go one more time. Deep breath in. Drop the chin to the chest. Unlock the knees and the hips. And just roll down. Really good, fantastic on all your balance. Good, fingertips to the floor if you can. Lovely, we're going to rotate to the left. And then rotate to the right. Back to centre, deep breath in, and roll back up. Good, 
shoulders to the ears deep breath in and blow out and shake the legs out well done good let's change them over the other way exactly the same deep breath in drop in the chin unlocking the hips and knees and just roll down to where you feel comfortable in your own time find your range of movement this class is all about yourself spending a little bit time on yourself good deep breath in let's roll back up nice and gently shoulders to the ears deep breath in and blow out deep breath in again we're just going to roll back down you're all doing absolutely amazing if you can try and go that a little bit further but as i say please don't force anything deep breath in and as we blow out we're going to rotate to our left back to centre and over to the right back to centre deep breath in and roll back up lovely good okay let's uncross the legs shake the legs out i'm just going to turn to the side so you can see slightly better our feet are together we're going to take a small step back keeping our heel up uh, sorry our knees together we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to roll down intensifying the stretch in the back of the straight leg and the hamstrings and the calf slightly holding that for three two one deep breath in and we're going to take make a big circle we're going to come all the way out all the way up switch it all the way up and back round good okay let's bring both legs together change over deep breath in blowing out as we push the hips down and back and then take our hands down to as far as you feel comfortable it doesn't need to be all the way to the floor if you find that uncomfortable just hold that stretch for three two one deep breath in and as we blow out another nice big circle going all the way up fingertips to the ceiling and then relax good good shake the legs out if you have a book or a block we're going to move on to that next so I'm going to use my block literally just to put my heel on lovely good I bent my standing leg I'm going to take a deep breath in we're going to do exactly the same this time coming down and hopefully you feel the stretch is a little bit deeper through the hamstrings the glute three two one big circle all the way around and up amazing good lovely stabilizing shake them out let's change it over Doing really well as I say we're really focusing on our hamstrings today heel onto the book or the block bend the standing leg deep breath in and as we roll down this is how we can increase our range of movement three two one deep breath in nice big circle stretching all the way up and relax good shake the legs out we're going to take the block away okay good sorry so now we're going to either you can either use a chair like we did last week to just do a hamstring calf stretch okay or we can use the wall it's entirely up to you so we're going to take a big step back keeping our heel pushed into the floor Give yourselves just a couple of minutes, just a couple of seconds, just to 
help that ease. Lift the back heel off the floor. Deep breath in and then blow out as we push back down again, increasing that intensity in the calf muscle, the lower muscle in the back of the leg. If you wish to increase it any more, take the front knee slightly forward, keeping that back heel on the floor. Lovely, good. Three, two, one. Lift the back heel, bring the foot in, and change over. Nice deep breath in, blow out as you push the heel into the floor. Try not to push too hard to start with. Allow the muscle to open and relax. Doing amazing. Lift the back heel, deep breath in, and as we blow out, pushing down and back. Good, keeping the shoulders down and back as well. Three, two, one, and bring the legs back together. Good, okay. If you're using the chair, we just need to move the chair back out the way. We're going to roll down, but go onto the floor, onto our bottoms, okay? So nice deep breath in, unlock the chin, allow the hands to reach the floor. Once your hands have reached the floor, bend the knees. I'd like you to be in this position here. Now we're stretching through the fascia of the foot. Remember, we warmed it up with the ball, but it's a great way of stretching the fascia, it's a big muscle in the bottom of the foot. You might hear a few cracks. That's absolutely fine. In your own way, just allow yourself to come down onto the floor. Swing your legs around. And we're going to sit with our legs out straight. Good. Sitting nice and tall. If you find that quite awkward, by all means, sit on a book or something like that just to lift the bottom off the floor if you find it uncomfortable. Okay. So we're going to keep our back nice and straight. We're going to pivot from our hips, okay? So again, allow your body time to open up. Deep breath in, and we're going to run our fingers down towards our feet, coming down as far as we can. I can go down further by bending my back, but try and keep your back as straight as you can so you're flexing through the hips. Use your breathing. So I'm just holding this at about 10% just to allow my body to feel that stretch in my hamstrings, my lower back. Three, two, one. Deep breath in as we release and come back up. Lovely, good. Let's bend one leg in. So my foot is towards my inner thigh. Nice deep breath in. And as I blow out, again, keeping my back nice and straight, I'm gonna come down you should feel it now more in the glute. Everybody feels it slightly different. We're all made differently. But please don't force anything, but just allow everything to open up. Use your breathing. Three, two, one. Gently coming back up, sitting up nice and tall. Let's take that leg out and change them over. I find this side really different to the other side. Nice deep breath in, blow out as we go down. Again, allow it to open up. You may feel tight in your hip, in your lower back. That's absolutely fine. Just allow it to open. Three, two, one, deep breath in and come back up. Good, okay. Let's bring our feet together. If you can, sit up without needing to support yourself. That's fine. Or sit on a, a book or anything. That's fine. And we're just going to allow, just rock gently our hips from side to side. Sorry, I'll turn to the side so you can see. Just so we're opening up. Lovely, good. Give that a couple of moments. Three, 
two, one. And if you need to, just gently walk the feet out. We're going back into a, um, our legs straight out the front. Please grab your towel. And from here, we're going to gently allow ourselves to roll back with our feet flat on the floor. We're going to use the towel going behind one of the legs, feet, and take the leg all the way up. Take a deep breath in and gently allow yourself to pull the foot just towards the head. Again, trying to keep the pelvis nice and level on the floor. I'm not lifting myself off. It's just in allowing it to feel that stretch through the back of the leg. You might feel it behind the knee. Don't force anything. Three, two, one. Now I'd like you to straighten the bent leg along the floor and send it all the way out and try and touch the wall or the door, the opposite end. If you find that your body is, or the pump, your leg is shaking, just try and breathe through it. It's your body's mechanism of trying not to overstretch. Three, two, one. Let's bend that straight leg that's all the way out. Just bring it back up. Bend the leg that's got the towel on it and let's change over. Doing really well. Nice deep breath in. Straighten that leg and just hold it where you feel comfortable. The important part is to keep the pelvis on the floor so you're not twisting up and over. Work within your own range of movements. From what I can see, you're doing amazing. Three, two, one. Extend that straight leg. As I always say, please do these exercises throughout the week. Don't have to do them all in one go. Just a couple every day will really help, spending a little bit more time on each of them. Okay, good. We're going to bend that leg back up, take the pressure off of our foot, and take the towel away. Okay, good. Now we're going to cross one leg over the other. We're going to thread our hands through allowing our shoulders to drop down onto the floor and then we're going to extend our leg up and then point our toes draw our foot back and then just allow it to come back down good we're going to go three more times extend up point the toes bring it back bend down good extend point the toes pull, pull it back down and then bend the knee. Good, last one, extend, point the toes, bring the toes down towards your chest, then bend your leg down, amazing. Gently allow the leg to drop to the floor and change it over. Thread the hands through, allow yourself to relax down into it. So again, this might be an exercise that you want to take a little bit more time with in your own time. Okay, extend the leg up, point the toes, bring the toes back down, and then bend the knee. Brilliant, one, extend, point, bring the toes back towards the chest, and then down. Last one, extend, point, Turn and bend back down. Brilliant. Okay, gently allow yourself to drop the knees to the sorry, your feet to the floor. Uncross your knees. Now we're going to just warm through the pelvis. So we're going to tilt our pelvis, pushing our feet into the floor. Deep breath in. Tilt the pelvis. That should put the lower back into the floor. And just hold there and then release. So when I release, there's a small gap in my lower back. 
And then when I tilt the pelvis, pushing into the floor, there's no gap at all. And release. This is really good. And again, keep going in your own time. This is really good if you start to uh, suffer with backache or lower backache or pain in the hips. Just takes the pressure off, gets the vertebrae moving again. Okay. From here, we're going to now tilt the pelvis and then push into the floor, coming up into bridge. Hold. And then gently lower down. Being aware of where our knees are, try and keep your knees parallel with your hips. Deep breath in, tilt the pelvis, push into the floor, send the knees away. Squeeze those glutes and lower down. Good, last one. Push into the floor, tilt the pelvis, coming up. And lower. Amazing, good. Okay, let's cross our right leg over our left. And we're going to drop our knees to our left, taking our head to the right. Rotate over. Again, this is a really nice one to do quite regularly and take a little bit more time over in your own time. Three, two, one. Gently come back up, uncross the legs, change over, head turns the other way. Deep breath in and just allow your body to open. Absolutely amazing, brilliant. Three, two, one. Gently coming back up. Good, uncross the legs. We're gonna bring our knees up into the tabletop, hands behind the knees, sitting up. We're going to put our hands to the left side of us, bend our right leg and rotate round. Feel that stretch and then gently rolling back up, all the way up. Let's rotate those shoulders. <sighs> Lovely, good. Okay, shake the arms and the legs. Those of you that have hand weights, if you wish to use them, that's great. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine as well. So what we're going to do is a combination of just lifting up laterally, bringing our hands forward and then rotating through our shoulders and then coming forward into a chest press or pushing up. Okay, so we'll go through those movements. If you haven't got a weight, that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's start with a nice deep breath in and as we blow out, we're gonna lift up with my arms facing down and then from here, we're gonna rotate up and back. Deep breath in, blow out. As you rotate your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down and then come back to the start position. So we're here. That's it. And then rotate down. Perfect. That's it. Brilliant. Well done. And up and down. Last one. Up. This helps with your rotator cuffs in your shoulders. From here, we're going to push forward and come back. As we come back, we're squeezing our shoulder blades forward. We're pushing through, opening up our scapula and then we're squeezing our shoulder blades back together, opening up, drop the chin if you feel you need to, and pull back. Last one, coming back, good, okay, rotating up again, and from here, we're just gonna push up and come back down, up and down, up and down. Good, okay, allow them to come down. From here, we're gonna place with our palms facing forwards and up. And from here, we're gonna squeeze as we come up. So I'm keeping my arms straight, I'm squeezing. And as I come back, I'm really opening up my chest and my shoulders, squeeze. And back, squeeze. And back. Squeeze, coming back, 
last one squeeze and coming back amazing good okay we're going to bend over bent knees from here we're going to bring our elbows up and from there we're going to twist and come back so we work in the backs of the arms three two and one good gently come back up to standing position nice deep breath in we're going to rotate the shoulders again if you've only got a little hand weights like these absolutely fine just that little bit of extra weight is always good and then rotate the other way and often the most simplest exercises are the ones that really help us the most with our posture good okay shake the arms shake the legs we're going to put those back down again and grab our chair we normally do this type of stretch on the floor but we're going to do it in the chair please make sure it's not going to pinch your fingers or slide or move away from you okay so if i just show you what we're going to do we're going to put one foot up on the chair and as we normally would we're going to come forward keeping our heel on the floor if you wish to put your hands in front just as a bit of support that's absolutely fine but we're really opening up through our hips okay so we're gonna take a deep breath in and then just gently if you'd rather put your hand on your knee that's fine just again make sure the chair doesn't move just hold that stretch you should feel it through the hip of the straight of the back leg breathe through it allow yourself to lower as far as you feel comfortable three two one okay good fingertips to your heel now gently take the hips back and bring your chin as low as you can towards your the front part of your leg you should feel a nice big stretch through your hamstring and abductors three two one gently come back to neutral position come up and change legs that again is another stretch both those stretches are ones that i'd rather like you to do in the week where you can spend a little bit more time just getting that little further range of movement okay let's come forward again the back leg the heel is on the floor either the hands on the chair or the knee wherever you feel comfortable so i'm feeling a nice stretch now through my hip flexor in my calf if that is too much to get the heel, the heel down that's fine just work with it and eventually you'll get, get, that, get a better range of movement good three two one fingertips to the heel and then take the hips back and try and take the chin down to the knee again breathe through them give your body chance to open up these may be stretches that they haven't felt before three two one gently come back up good let's stand up let's both feet on the floor okay this time we need the towel for one for our knees if your knees are fine that's absolutely fine as well you don't need the towel it's just people that may have trouble with their knees okay so what i'd like you to do it's a little bit precarious trying to get into it. if i show you first i'd like you to come down put one foot on the chair and then adjust to where you feel comfortable to get into this position here and it's a massive stretch now through my hip through my quads we've been doing so much stretching in our hamstrings so it's a good chance to give us a little bit of a stretch if you find that too much by all means 
have your leg here. That's absolutely fine. Push forward. It still stretches through the quad. If you can, have your front leg at a 90 degree angle. It doesn't matter if it's slightly further forward because there's no weight on it. And from here, we're just going to um, come up as nice and tall as we can. Same side as the leg that's on the chair. We're going to take the arm up and just lean over and you should feel a really nice stretch through the quad, through the hip flexor. Three, two, the great thing is you can move your hips back to increase the resistance or move them slightly forward to take it off. Three, two, one, bring the hand down. Good, let's put the fingers to our floor. Take the leg off, move the uh, towel over. We can then bring our other foot forward, put the knee on, sorry, our front of our foot onto the chair and reset. Again, you might find that one side feels very tight compared to the other. That's quite normal. Good, you're doing absolutely amazing. We're nearly there. Sorry, it's gone over just very slightly. Thank you for sticking with us. Okay, deep breath in. We're going to take the arm up, take it all the way over. As I say, please always do these stretches during the week. Only a couple each day would be a, make a massive difference. You'd spend a little bit more time on them. Three, two, one. Take the hand down. Let's bring our hands down to the floor and sit up. Stand up, sorry. We can use the chair. We've been working really hard. Let's sit on the chair. If you have your balls as well, sorry, I do apologise. If you have your ball, if you have your ball and you do have a tight hamstring or something, it's a great time to put the ball under the leg. Again, you can adjust how much pressure you put on it. Find it where it's maybe a little bit tight, and from there, just extend the leg out and back if you find that you're tight there. If you're not, that's fine. But we're just going to sit and just roll the shoulders. Close our eyes. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths in and out. Lovely. Let's sit up nice and tall. With our eyes shut still, that's absolutely fine. Take a deep breath in. As we blow out, we're just going to stretch up. Allow the hands to come down in front of the face. Blow them away. Really open up the back. Sitting up nice and tall again. Bring the hands down onto the uh, fronts of the legs. And just relax down. 30 seconds. Deep breaths in and out. You've done absolutely amazing again this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Please join all of our other classes during the week. We have Body and Mind tomorrow with Kaz, which is absolutely amazing class. And then again, uh, Hit and Abs on Friday at 10.30, both of those, Thursday, Friday. And we also have on Thursday, Getting Started at 6.30. Please join Darius on Monday and Amy on Tuesday at 12.30 for BoxFit and uh, LBT. And then I would love to see you again next week for, unfortunately, our last class before Christmas. Um, but we will be back a uh, week commencing the 4th. Okay, so we'd love to see you all there then. Um, have a great week. Um, please join us during the week. And it's been a privilege. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Have a good week. Thank you.